Today we're going to be looking at the trucker's hitch. Now what you want to do is you want to start with your anchor knot on the driver's side of the vehicle. So in the event that you have anything happen on the road, you don't want to be on the driver's side fixing it. Now you can tie several different anchor knots here. I've chosen because of the design of this trailer to put a water bowling in there because the water bowling is a little easier to untie after it's been loaded. But you can choose a variety of different hitches to start off with. Then I'm going to show you first the regular trucker's hitch, which I'm a little out of frame here, but you start off with just a regular uh, slip loop knot. And then you're able to tie that rope around your anchor point, go through that loop, and then be able to pull it down. Once you get it set where you like it, you pinch it off on the two end sides of the rope, and you throw a little slip hitch in there, a little half, a slipped half hitch, and it will allow you to very easily untie that load. Now I like to use a four to one advantage hitch and it's pretty easy on this trailer because just the way my anchor points are. But to do this, you have to start off with instead of a slip hitch uh, or slip loop knot, you need to put a, uh, a double Alpine butterfly. Now I haven't showed this knot just yet, but it's really easy to tie. And uh, once you've got this set, then you'll have two different anchor points to pull off of, two separate anchor points, and that will allow us to get our four to one advantage. So once I get this dressed up, then we'll move down to the bottom and we'll start tying the rest of the hitch. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the first anchor point, and then we're gonna trail that back up to the first loop. Once I get that set in, then we're gonna go down to our second anchor point, and then back up to our second loop. And you want to might want to snug it. I probably should have snugged it up a little bit before I went around, but I get it later. So once you go around the second loop, now you can tighten down your load. And I give it a little tug there just to keep that rope to, to slip it correctly. Once you get it tied off uh, or, or pulled to the tension that you like, then you just tie it off again with a slipped half hitch and you could throw another half hitch in there if you want to make it a little bit more secure. And that is the four to one advantage trucker's hitch. Then the, just like the regular trucker's hitch, it's very easy to come apart with that slipped hitch. Everything will un undo very nicely. And I found that the Alpine butterfly or the double Alpine butterfly actually unties a little bit easier as well.